Newfoundland is very scenic. We're very approachable type of people. We, we could see you, meet you once, and then if we meet you again, it's not a handshake, it's a hug. Bay Roberts is part of Conception Bay. It's uh, about an hour away from the capital city, uh, St. John's. You know, one of the oldest settled parts of, of the province right here. For years, a lot of the rural communities were, you know, fish, fishing related industries, which, which drove this area for a long time. Uh, of course, the fishing in this province has kind of died off. The way of the business is you have to be able to adjust to change. So, I mean, change is a big thing. It's, it's life. We all adapt to that, and that's part of us. That's always what I try to tell, you know, myself every day, my family, my boys every day, is, you know, be able to adapt to change and, and move on with it. I think what drives me to come to work every day is I truly enjoy what I do. I've always enjoyed my job, so I enjoy dealing with customers, I enjoy helping customers. I love my staff, they're my second family. No matter how successful she is, like it, she's the first one to mention, well, it's her team, you know, it's, it, it's her and the whole team. They're a big part of my present win and my past nine wins, so wouldn't be there without them. Marilyn is a fantastic manager, I've got to say. Marilyn is a friend, a co-worker. Um, She's someone I can go to. With personal issues, she's always there. I can count on her as a second mom. I feel like I could talk to her about anything. I mean, she does bring off that vibe that she's open. She's never closed. You know, she's always open to anything. You can talk to her about anything. You can be yourself, and Marilyn wouldn't have it any other way. She wouldn't want you any other way than to be yourself. One of the best people, not, not just managers, but just people that you know I've had the opportunity to work with in the 34 years I've been around myself. We're a team, so we do everything as a team. We have a morning meeting every morning. We take the approach to do it together. They set their goals every month, they put it on a whiteboard, they have a meeting every morning, they discuss where they're to in relation to the actual goals. We know where we need to focus. Uh, Marilyn will go over where we're to so far for the month. Of course, it's a daily basis that we talk about it and where we are and where we have to be. If we're not meeting our quota that month, um, we will discuss what our best focus is. We're maybe not where we should be. Okay, so what can we do? Don't dwell on we're not where we should be. As, as you'll experience her personality is what drives is what drives the, the business part. She's. She's always positive, no matter what's going on in the branch and, you know, how business is doing. She's always, she's always positive. She calms us down. She say, okay, guys, you can do it. She's the one who brings us together and she keeps us focused. There's not one day goes by in this office that when Marilyn leaves this office, she don't say thank you for everything. They can look after her, they can run the show. And she knows that she can go away with content boy. And when she comes back, she hasn't got anything extra to do. Uh, if Marilyn could set up office in, in her cottage, I think she would. It's a beautiful spot. I actually take my watch off my arm as we're coming in towards the cabin. And I do not look at it anymore until the next day that we go back, whenever that may be. At work, I'm focused on what I'm doing. I mean, my day is kind of planned and I follow a plan. But when I come to the cottage, hey, whatever happens, happens. Pretty much what she's looking for is, you know, work all week long. When the weekend hits, she wants everybody to get together, come to the cabin, hang out. So really, this is kind of like, you know, provides a spot where everybody's able to get together and just kind of leave the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day stuff kind of behind. And uh, I mean, we don't miss very many weekends. We just love it here. We love the boys coming down here. We hunt from here. We fish from here. Well, Parker really enjoys it here. Our little boy, Parker, he's, uh, he'll be four in July. And he was the first grandchild for mom and dad. We spend so much time with him whenever we can. Obviously, me and grandparents, they like to spoil him a little bit. He's just, he just brings so much joy to our, to, you know, to our family. All the, boy, the boys are the same way, way with them. And what's really important to me now as the boys of, are now men, they're not boys anymore. So it's great that we can spend like as much quality time with them now as actually you know, we did when they were growing up. For us, you know, it's kind of a kind of like a small blessing there that they got it because it just enabled us to kind of, you know, get together more often. When we leave the cottage to go on a skidoo day, which we'll call a skidoo day, because generally 
all of us leave at about nine-ish, nine, 10 in the morning. Mom usually cooks breakfast, as usual. Leave early in the morning. There could be as many as 20 of us uh, on time. We spend probably a couple hours just, you know, going through the trails or going out through the country. Drive to lunchtime, do a boil up. Well, they cut down the wood as we're there. We have a little boil up thing where it could consist of anything, like we could have mackerel, we could have moose, we could have soup. We all stand around, have a chit chat, and you know, as we're as the fire's burning and the food is starting to warm up or cook. And then we kind of just pack up from that, and then we'll leave and skidoo for another two or three hours. Yeah, we usually try to make a day of it, usually. Do 100 kilometers or so, and then you're back here. You know, mom and dad are both pretty outgoing when it comes to their social life. Usually, they, that consists of the, the weekend get-togethers. And... You know, we made so many friends down here, and they're excellent. You wouldn't ask for any better. We've got friends out here at the cabin that we spend, all of us always spend weekends together. Marilyn, the bigger the crowd, the better she likes it. She just loves the crowd, so we use it every weekend we got a crowd here. She's a bit of a social butterfly there. She likes to, uh, you know, she likes to maintain a, a group of group of friends. Um, well, myself and Raj, we've been married for 36 years in June. Mom was always the one who, you know, kind of maintained the, uh, you know, supper schedule and the schooling schedules and parent-teacher interviews and the dentist appointments and all that stuff. So, Mom, yeah, Mom was kind of more so at the helm as, than what Dad was, but Dad ran family business. So the best thing about owning a family business is you can work any 80 hours a week you like. When you're starting to get established, you, you have to work about 15 hours a day, six days a week. So Marilyn was doing most of the stuff with the boys, taking them to hockey, taking them to the dentist, taking them to the doctor. She got to drive at everything she does. No matter sports, schoolwork, work, doesn't matter. She's just determined all around. I think that's why she's done so well in her career, is because she's very goal-orientated and is not satisfied until she's reached it. You know, she was my rock band, and uh, I love her. Since Raj is retired, we've actually had more time to do things together, just the two of us as a couple. We travel a lot more than, than we ever did. We may say, okay, well, let's go St. John's for the night. We got so much in common and do so many things together. You know, that's why we, you know, we don't have any arguments. We just, you know, sit down and figure stuff out. Yeah, I think that's the right way to do stuff. And, and that's kind of the relationship we've had, really, from day one. <laughs> good, he's good to me, and I... <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs>